Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR, LAPD Code 3 here. And I'm sorry I haven't been able to make a previous video, guys, uh, a new video because I've been under the weather lately, still under the weather. Uh, check out this new Viper, though, guys. We got a Viper here that was made by Ryan F. Uh, it was made by, I believe it was Ryan F., I believe. Um, you can find this, uh, you can find this at all in LSPDFR.com or GTA 5 Mods. Uh, love the way the light bar looks, very unique. Got a kind of like an arrow. It's almost like an arrow, but it looks pretty good. Got some ALPRs in the back. Uh, oh god, I don't know where that scuff came from. There we go. You can see it's got that uh, traditional 46572 license plate, but it's counted as Uh High control logo there. So overall, it looks like something that Dodge would have done for uh, Dodge Viper if it was actually California Highway Patrol. You know, something CHP would do. Overall, this vehicle came out amazing. Let's take a look at the interior real quick. Uh, no working meters. Got a really nice computer. As you guys can see right there, that is very well done. Where's that? Um, I think it says Lenovo. I'm not sure. I think it's a Lenovo. I don't know, but it's got light up. It's got a light up LED keyboard and everything. It's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, as you guys can see, it also has a rear view dash cam there too, so you can see from the back. It's pretty cool. It's got a little dash, like a dash cam, but for the rear view, that's pretty cool. And it's got one in the front right there. So yeah, this is a beast, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get into some patrols, all right? So let's go ahead and make ourselves available. This batch seven, seventeen should be available for calls ten. Ten four. All right, guys, let's go out there and make a difference. Alright guys, so I'm looking at this Karen intruder here. He's following up way too close behind this vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and pull him over. Greetings. Uh -oh. I, I think we messed that one up. Yeah, we so messed that up. Okay. See what's going on here. This batch uh, one like a 17 show me traffic uh, uh, US Route 15. Gonna be a uh, green air intruder. How you doing? License registration proof insurance, please. Can I see some ID, please. You realize why I pulled you over, Thanks. right? I pulled you over because the car that was in front of you, the uh, the Panto, you were following way too close behind it. We have uh, insurance as well and registration. Thanks. Let's see. He has no insurance. No proof of insurance. Do you have insurance? All right. Okay. So you realize you were followed, but you were you realize you were followed behind him, right? You were tailgating. That stupid driver's too slow. Yeah. Well. Why were you driving recklessly like that? Nothing's wrong. Dude, you could have got into an accident or you could have hit that guy. Stay right here for a minute, alright? You better not take off on me because this thing is a beast. I'll, I'll outdo him. I'll outdo him any day. Let's have a look real quick and take a look at him. Uh, got three citations in the past. Speeding, proper turning, legal tint, window, warning. Uh, nothing serious though. All right, and even though my traffic stop was kind of crappy right there, I kind of overdid it. That's because I got the uh, the handling set to a cheetah speed, so she's pretty fast. Uh, she does have a bit of a she does have a bit of a handling issue, so I gotta make sure not to hit tight turns, uh, real tight turns. Other than that, guys, this is the, this is the lighting at Code Three. It's just pretty awesome. If we get a chance to do a night patrol, you guys are gonna see it. It looks much better at night. It's a beauty. All right. Uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and just give him a citation. I'm just going to give him a citation and let him be on his way because he ain't got. But because he gave me attitude, so get him on careless driving because I don't think we have the. Follow it too closely. There we go. Get up to that. 
Alright, well, give it to him. Oh, and the insurance. I got forgot about that one. I gotta give him the insurance, too. Hang on. I know I forgot to give him something else. Sure, no insurance. He failed to show provide insurance, so. Uh. Failed to present no insurance, okay. So we got him for two tickets now. Follow too closely and failing to provide insurance. Alright, man. So. I gotta give you this ticket, okay? One is for uh, following too closely, and the other one is for not providing insurance, okay? It's total $900, all right? You sign right here. It uh, shows you do not have any guilt. You gotta have to pay that off. You have no notice to appear down there, okay? You have any questions for me, man? Uh, uh, that's up to you, man. Uh, you gotta pay that off, otherwise, uh, I'll notify you if you haven't, okay? Alright, man. Have yourself a good one. Dispatch, uh, 7 Lincoln 17. Show me available, uh, available back of calls to take. Alright, so we're gonna get back on patrol, guys, and uh, see what we can pick up. Dispatch calling unit 7, Adam 17. We've got a 1099 in Ron Alternates Wind Farm. Roger, Dispatch. Uh, so 7 Adam copy that. 7, Moving 17, right now. 10 4, copy that. A 10 4 Dispatch. Uh, 7 Lincoln 17 is checking it out right now. ETA 30 seconds. If I can get over there. Alright guys, so right now we're heading to a traffic stop back up. Uh, it's gonna be near the wind farms, heading in towards steady shores. Dispatch 7 L17, show me 1097 for Sonora. Oh shit, he's taking off, he's taking off. A criminal resisting oh, arrest. Make my on, day, boy. Uh, this best 7017, be advised we're in a traffic pursuit now. Vehicle just off. took off on us on a traffic stop. Heading north to Sonora. Where is he? Oh, he's a dumbass. And I'm even more dumbass. I should have made a hard right. I should have stopped the car. Damn. Y'all are not seeing what I'm doing right now. This is really stupid. There we go. Yeah, just roll your way down. He ain't going far though. He ain't going far though. It's a, it's like a, a power plant station. He ain't going far. I think it's DWP, uh, DWP for LA, but he ain't going nowhere. There he is. This back seven L seventeen. Uh, it's gonna be a silver. It's gonna be a Silver Rapid GT taking off uh, inside the, pow the Palmer T Power Station. Suspect's on foot. I say again, suspect is on foot. 7L17 is in pursuit. Stop running! Hey! Stop running, dude. You're gonna get tased! Get you the taser! Suspect is running on foot. Stop burning, but you're gonna get tased! Taser to foot. Stop, dude. Stop. Stop, dude. You got us? Boys and the band are gonna love you. You got him? Oh, God. Let's go right through the fences. Okay. Put a name on him. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. Oh, you must be looking to get laid down. Hey, punk! Stop it! Stop, run stop running, dude.
All right, he's glitching out right now, so. Trying to see if I can get him to. Oh, let's get a transport while he's still here. Assistance required in Palmer Taylor Power Station. And then we'll head back to our vehicle and uh, go from there. And uh, write his report here. Alright, CHP got this now. Oh, you are trash! Oh, you got him, okay. Well, we're gonna get back to our car now. We're gonna search the vehicle too. We're gonna see why he ran. But, uh, first things first, we need to write the report before this guy disappears. Then we can try to trash my car like that. Alright. Felix Guzman, uh, arrest records for third degree murder and sexual battery. Uh,. One record, one citation for expired insurance. Well, now we got him on. He's going to be added to uh, reckless driving, uh, fleeing a traffic stop, and actually fleeing a traffic stop. Yeah, fleeing police resulting in injury, property damage, or death. Since he went inside the power station and got it and started getting reckless, damaging the roadways and such. And then uh, resisting arrest, attempting to flee with police, so because he tried to run off to on foot. All right, so we got him on all that. And once we check the vehicle, we'll probably add more charges to him. Hopefully, this car is not registered stolen, but I'm pretty sure it is. We'll check the car, see what he had on him. He had a stolen Glock 18 gun and PCP. Alright, let's uh, get a tow service off of this car. Flatbed, assistance needed on a uh, Sonora way. Now we got him on, so now we got more charges to add to him. And the vehicle is not even under his name, it's registered to uh, Linda Marcelli. Probably his girlfriend. Let's see. License status suspended. Probably his girlfriend. All right, so probably girlfriend or why? Uh, yeah, probably girlfriend. So get him on probably possession of a stolen vehicle. But then again, it's not registered stolen, but we'll definitely get him for the gun and the PCP. Possession of firearm stolen and possession of PCP. All right. Nice. All right. That's gonna go for it, guys. We'll get back to patrol. Sonora Freeway. Are located in pursuit. Get back. Suspect uh, has entered the freeway. Well. All units. Suspect is heading north. All right, guys. So right now we're. Roger. Dispatch. We are en route. Actually. The vehicle's heading right for us. We're in the middle of a pursuit right now, guys. Uh, as you can see, a vehicle just took off. Let's see it now. ETR occupied two times. DHP is all over it. Oh, they're trying to fit a little bit. He's over 80. Nothing that we can't handle. Hope everybody's been enjoying the new year so far. First week, uh, we're already up. You know, first week of New Year's, the second week now, I believe. But we're still in the first week, I'm not sure. I think we're still in the first week, guys. Oh, what a pit! That was a pretty good pit. They're done. They're done. Let's get a big gun out. Everybody out now. Everybody out, right? Go for you. Down. Get some more additional units out here. Assistance required on Sonora Freeway. Get some more additional units out here. Let's try to close the road down. We're gonna have to hold the road off until we can do some investigation. You're under arrest! Why'd you run, man? Does it feel like it? 
You got anything legal on you? You're good to you want go. to check them real quick? Guy's got uh, handcuffs, obviously. USBR driver cologne, John Gardner. You got a sawed off shotgun on the passenger and a bottle of codeine. Harry Sheen. Alright, so let's get our. See what we got here. John Gardner, the driver. Uh, no, I only have a ticket for open container in public. He's now going to be added to possibly grand theft, resisting arrest. Uh, let's see. We got Barry Sheen. No lights at night, uh, expired insurance. So they only have a few tickets. They haven't even been like that. They're not even that serious. But now, the son of shotgun. I'm gonna search the vehicle while we're at it. See what we find in the car. Hammer marijuana prescribed. So everyone knows California is legal, so. All right, so we'll go ahead and write their uh, things down, and then uh, we'll go ahead and take them in. Have we even ran a plate check on the vehicle? Hang on, we haven't even run a chance to get a plate. We need a plate on this before we can even do anything. So let's obtain the plate number from the LAG, or in this case, the GTR. And now we'll do some proactive work here. It is an LAG2. Uh, it's not stolen, but it is registered to one Akira Young. Ooh, it's had two fires in the past, uh, two citations. Unroad, unworthy road vehicle and an illegal underglow color. I'd want to say it's stolen, though. I want to flag it as stolen because it doesn't look like they're friends or anybody. So I'll get them for uh, possession of a stolen vehicle joyriding. I'm pretty sure it's not their vehicle. So, possession of a stolen vehicle. So, for John Garner right now, we're going to get him for that. We're going to get him for uh, driving the wrong way. Well, not driving the wrong way, but we'll get him for uh, reckless driving, which is speeding. And uh, that's about it. All right. All right, and uh, since he didn't really have anything on him, this guy, however, Barry Sheen, he's got a he's got possession. Uh, he got possession of a shotgun and coding. So I figure out what would they call coding. Yes. Oh yeah, I think it's considered a. The coding would be a controlled substance, so we'll go with control possession of control substance, and then we'll get him for the uh, shotgun. Legal possession of a firearm. And, oh, he didn't even have a gun permit, so right now we can also get him for possession of a weapon not registered. Registered, well, not registered, but uh, because he didn't have a gun permit, we can get him in. So we got him in illegal possession of a firearm, so that'll work. And um, that's about it, yeah. All right, so we got him on all that, and uh, we'll tow the vehicle out and code for it from there. All right, let's get a tow truck out for him. Now let's get a transport for these guys. Oh wait, no, no, no! They were about to tow my. They were about to tow my Viper. Hell no! There we go. Flatbed backup needed on Sonora I'm Freeway. For these guys. Uh, Assistance needed on um, Sonora Freeway. Hello. Oh. Oh, you guys just show up like right there in front of me too. Go out of the way right quick. Can you move it slower? 
I'm gonna see if we can open traffic right now for the moment. We can get cars moving now. Hopefully they'll drive. Alright, yeah, they'll get them in now. Alright, let's go for it, guys. Let's go back on patrol. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we got reports of, oh shit. We just, this just happened like right in front of us. Uh, guy literally walking on the freeway. Oh my God, he's gonna get hit. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Jesus. Balls. Balls. Stop the traffic right now. What's he doing? What is he, hey, what in the hell? Please tell me you guys are seeing this. Hey, buddy, you want to stop a minute? Wait there! What's going on, buddy? You all right? <laughs> Greetings. You all right, man? What are you doing out here like that? Where are you headed to, bro? You all messed up. Been drinking? Any drugs too while you're away at it? What have you used? Oh. One guy said it was X. Oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. But why did you do that though? Dude, do you need any help, man? Alright. All right, come with me, all right? Let's get you out of the traffic, okay? He might just need some help. He's probably just way too, probably did drugs. He probably overdid it on him. But I'm definitely gonna get him some help. And we'll get him, uh, we'll run his information real quick. Put you right here by my car, okay? All right, let's go ahead and open up the, the road again. Hold on. Open up the road again, okay. Now let's get his name. Alright, sir, do you have a name on you? May I see some ID, please? Thanks. He's a Campbell. Alright. Alright, so do me a favor, just stay right here, okay? Let me information right quick and see what I pick up on him. Oh, shit. He's on probation for all. He's on probation and, uh, had a warrant in the past for Grand Theft. Now he's got an arrest warrant for inciting a riot. Okay. All right. Hey, sees. Not looking good for you, bro. Did you realize you had a warrant on you? Were you aware that you had a warrant? Right. Do me a favor, bro. Put your hands behind your Hope back. Don't you like me. prison food, shithead? Right now, I'm going to be placing you under arrest for the warrant, alright? I would ask you if you had anything illegal on you other than that, other than that, man, but at this point, I don't think I have to. You know, guys, I was watching Cops the other day, and there was a, I believe it was, I believe it was in Las Vegas, uh, I believe it was Las Vegas, and anyways, what happened was, it was I think it was South, South Area Command. Uh, and what I remember was it was uh, there was this guy who was I don't know where he was on, but completely nude, cowboy hat, sitting in a couch, and officer tried to get him up, refused, but he had to get another officer to help him get out, and he kept looking at him like, who the f are you? Who the hell is this guy? He tried to get some pants on him, he wouldn't even get no pants. The dude was literally sitting nude in his sister's house. On something, and God, God, Lee, like he was just in a cowboy hat. Now I see this guy; he's only in a, <clears throat> I'm thinking underwear, boy shorts, and a little holster, I guess, with a mask. He was somebody's slave. And he probably escaped, and they drugged him with X. 
but he's got a warrant, so we're gonna get us gonna get him to the transport out of here. So we can't fit him in my car. Assistance required and he on a figure. Great Ocean Highway. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna just code for that and disregard the whole thing. We have a um a disturbance. 7017, urgent assistance requires civilian is shining a high-powered laser at an air support unit. More information to follow. Alright guys, so we're going to check this out real quick. We think that somebody, more information for you. Suspect is male, unknown clothing, ethnicity, and this and ethnicity is time. On code 3. Alright guys, so we're going to hit this right now and see what's going on. Go ahead and deactivate our ALPR. It seems to be nearby. That's the lighting of code 3. It's very beautiful. 7817 is there. Can you get your ass moving? We're flying blind up here, tracking with the suspect getting difficult. See your approach. If I can get past him. Hey! Stay right where you are, man. Get down on your knees. Hands behind your head and unlock your fingers right now. Roger that, air unit. Dispatch uh, 7L17, one in custody. Bro, what's your name? Alin? Alright. What do you think you're doing with the damn laser? You understand how dangerous? You understand this is dangerous? It is not, man. It is not. It is not fun at all. Where'd you get it? You have any idea that this is very dangerous, man? You could have got somebody killed today. You understand that? You could have got hundreds of people killed with that laser. You're under arrest. Give me your hands. Alright. Yeah, shining a laser in the sky, man, trying to have a light show? Not cool, man. Not cool at all. The question is how we're gonna get into the car without. Hopefully, I can get him more without hurting anybody. Without anybody hurting me. Big truck. Oh, let me do it. Maybe? Uh. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, Al, stay right here, okay? No move. Normally, I would have him up on his knees, but I'm just gonna run his information real quick. Uh, Helen is got a legal tent warning, impeding flow of traffic. This is the first time we've actually used the laser pointer call out. Never used it in any situation. It was part of on the beats call out, I believe. So it's a pretty decent call out. I actually like it. Um, but now we got him for. Uh, reckless endangerment because he really got somebody killed. He could have got somebody killed with that. I'm not sure what, what you would consider. A violent crime would probably be the closest thing, but we don't know what exactly we can get him for. Um, oh man, I wouldn't even know what to, um, uh, I mean, it's not exactly a destructive device, but it's not, you know, possession of a destructive devices like a laser, I mean, it, I guess we can say possession of destructive devices. Doesn't exactly blow anything up, but I don't have anything to put him. I don't have anything to charge him with other than that, because we don't have anything for lasers. Let's see, yeah, they ain't got much. Uh... Yeah, that's all we can get him for. Um. I'm getting for mischief because that's what he was doing. So we'll just get him for mischief because that's really all he was doing. He was putting on a show 
And that show could have got somebody killed. Alright, let's get a transport out for him. I really love this car at night. This is a beautiful car. Once again, Ryan, special thank you to you, man, for making this car. This is an incredible model, man. I hope you keep on making more supercars like this. Uh, not supercars, but you know, this is a, this is a pure old-fashioned Viper. Just straight up beast. And I hope that we can see some more like these down the road, some vehicles like this. You're a loser. You heard that? Alright, Al, you're gonna be charged with mischief tonight, okay? The laser pointer, however, man, is gonna be under our possession, alright? The next time, man, you decide you want to do a laser show, man, do it at home, but don't do that anywhere near the open area where there's choppers flying around, okay? Attention all units, a reckless driver on a right. Great Ocean Highway. Units respond code 3. Oh, we got a reckless driver right here. He just took Copy off on that. us. All right, we're going for from that one, but we're going to proceed on this one. It's going to be probably our last one here. Got a reckless driver Dispatch, taking off on us. On the perp in off in a... Oh, he's gonna test me. He's gonna test me with that Zentorno. Okay, suspects are off the freeway. Come on, buddy, pull it over. Where's he going? Dispatch 7017 is code 4 from the last car. Is uh, engaging in the pursuit of White Zentorno heading north for Copio. Vehicles continuing on west now for Copio. Westbound on for Copio. Yeah, because when they hit this road here, it's like. They don't stop, they keep on going. They don't hit the interstate. Oh my god, there goes the vehicle again. I did say that this vehicle is loose. Uh, not a perfect model for me, but you know, it, I, it was my handling line that I put in, and it, again, it was uh, it was bad handling for me. Because I had to, I had it set as a fugitive handling line, and I didn't like it, so... Where is he? There he is. I don't know why he's not even gunning it right now. He should be gunning this thing. I'm gonna try to get a spike strip on him. Assistance required. Six, eight, William, Lincoln, uh, Union, eight, two, of zero. Of course, that's gonna work. Gonna Backup work. needed. Six, eight, William, oh, Lincoln, yeah, Union, eight, two, zero. Oh, he's gonna hit it. Oh! Oh, he hit, he hit an officer in the way. He hit an officer. One officer. She's still okay. She's okay. We're gonna need some more additional units in here. Now we gotta stop this guy. Backup needed on um, Procopio Drive. Dispatch, we got eyes on the target. Moving to engage. And I did it again. Rolling, 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 rolling. What? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Come on, guys. Okay, now he's getting back on the freeway now. Now he's back on the freeway. He's gonna try to get back on the main road. Yeah. Get on the freeway. Good. And make sure he steps on it because I'm catching up to his ass. There we go. Now we actually have an opportunity to take him. Assistance required. Six, eight, William, Lincoln, Union, eight, two, zero. Got a spike strip. Oh, on the wrong side. You've got to be kidding me. Dispatch, perfect sight. I gotta give it another shot. Backup needed. Six, eight, William, Lincoln, Union, right, eight, him. two, zero. Now we got him. Now we got him. See the perp. We're in for Boom, he's done. You're done, dude. Pull the car over, let's go. You've gotta be kidding me.
Stop it. Stay right where you are, bro. Keep your hands where you can see them. Get down on your knees. Hands behind your head. Interlock your fingers. Do not reach for anything. Stay right where you are. Don't look at me. Do not turn your head. Do not look at me. Do not look at me. Do you understand me? Come here. This back 707 one in custody. Go for it. Let you run, man. Yeah, you got anything illegal on you, bro? Well, you're gonna go to jail, bro, because you ran for me. Got anything on you I need to know about? No? Should I know? Well, man, I need to know. You got anything on you? Any weapons? Alright, I'll pat him down, find out. XSC MDMA, stolen debit credit cards. That's why he ran, I think. Don Fisher. Put him over there for the moment. Right, we'll check the vehicle out, take the plane number, and then uh, search at the same time while we're at it. Who finds his in Toronto. Uh, we got Oxycontin on and a uh, drug scale. Uh, looks like he was using the MDMA. For, uh, with the drug scales, and we got him on possession with intent to distribute. And uh... hey, John, let me ask you a question, man. So the uh... I want to know what's up with the uh, drug scale and everything, man. Is that them drugs yours? They're from your sister. Okay, so. These things right here, this is possibly a DMA or crystal, right? Candy? Okay, so you know that's another word for the ecstasy, right? You have a description for these? Alright. Okay. And uh, another thing, man, uh, the drug scale in there, you were using it to distribute them, weren't you? I just awesome want to know, man. Car, that's all. Alright. Alright, man. Well, you're gonna be charged with. Right, that's fine. But again, you're gonna be charged with the possession of MDMA with intent to distribute. Okay. You're gonna be charged for the oxycontin, and you're gonna be charged with the uh, resisting arrest, reckless driving, uh, reckless endangerment. Also, you hit that officer back there. Did you realize you hit an officer? You're lucky that she's alive. Could have killed her. And you understand that could be a bit of a charge with manslaughter. All right. So that's gonna be added to your charge attempted manslaughter. All right. Get him out of here, guys. Backup needed on Great Ocean Dang. Highway. Screw you. Flatbed assistance required on Great Ocean Highway. It's like one of those internal ones that I've normally been seeing on GTA Online. A lot of these people use those kind of spokes, dating spokes. All right, so the vehicle is registered to one Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> And we all know Leroy Jenkins. Uh, he's got a, he had a prior in the past for fleeing police resulting in injury, property damage, or death. So it's a stolen vehicle. Uh, okay, so now we got him for his charge. So we got attempted manslaughter. Uh... So I would say because he almost ran him, he almost ran the cop over. Lucky she's alive. So we'll just get him for a hit and run. On that first, we're gonna get him for that because I want to make sure he has that. Um, but I want to see his record first. See what we know about. Him. All right, he's got none clean record, but uh, not anymore. So we'll get him with the hit and run. Drug victim injured. Fleeing police. Uh, evading arrest. Reckless driving. Driving the wrong way. Got a lot of uh, traffic charges. Uh, ideally, more than enough to put them away for life. Stolen property. We got them on the stolen debit credit cards. Uh, So, 
Let's see, stolen debit credit cards. So possession of stolen property, possession of a stolen vehicle, and then the drugs we got him for the OxyContin, which is controlled substance, and then we got him for the MDMA crystals, drug paraphernalia, MA, and possession of drugs with intent to distribute. He's got plenty of charges on him already, enough to, to get him away for a long time. And other than that, I think that's about it, really. I didn't find any weapons on him. Okay, so he got plenty of charges on him. They're gonna take him away for sure, though. All right, all right, guys. I think we're gonna code for it from here, and uh, oh. all right, guys. So we just made it back to the station. Uh, look, our cell's unavailable at the moment. Ten four. That was one hell of a pursuit out there, guys. That was a hell of a roll today. But we seem to try to do better than the last time. All right, guys. So while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and go with the court cases. Uh, people we busted today. Uh, one of these real quick. I always seem to have the guys blown before I. Uh... All right. So Matt Strong. Um, following too closely. He was fine. Three twenty three. The failure to present insurance, so he was fined. So he was fined nine hundred dollars, over nine hundred and uh, what was that? I think it was like nine hundred thirty-three, something like that. Nine hundred and nine hundred forty-three dollars. He was fined. So hopefully he'll learn his lesson. Nine hundred forty-three dollars. It was basically over nine hundred dollars in fines. He had to pay all that off. All right. So Matt Strong is gonna be doing that. Uh, Felix Guzman. He has multiple charges. Uh, total prison years, he's going to be doing 12 years uh, for reckless driving, attempting to flee, fleeing traffic, etc. Um, he's got over four to over eight thousand dollars in fines. So he's doing total time 12 years in prison. Uh, John Gardner, he's got the uh, he's got a year and three months in prison with the possession of the stolen vehicle, and reckless driving, as well as his partner Barry Sheen, who was in possession of a shotgun. And controlled substance we found on him. Uh, he's got uh, five years in prison because that sawed-off shotgun was technically an illegal shotgun. You cannot have it sawed off to a certain uh, inches from the barrel. On the barrel, you can't. Yeah, there's a certain limit to where you can uh, saw it off at. But if you saw it off any further, it's illegal. So got to be careful with that, you know. Hal Lin, we got him for the laser show that he tried to cause, and he almost caused a chopper to have an accident. Uh, he was fined 532. He's going to be doing 10 months in prison. Hopefully, he'll learn his lesson. Learn to leave that shit at home. And then John Fisher, who we busted earlier for driving that Zentona and causing some major damage. He's going to be doing a lot of time for 11 charges. He's doing 23 years and 10 months. For the possession of drugs, paraphernalia, stolen vehicle, driving the wrong way, reckless driving, y'all injuring a, injuring a sheriff officer. Um, yeah, guys, you know, he, these people just, just reckless as all hell. They have no idea the things that these guys go through every day. You're going to do some shit like that, you're going to try to kill a cop. All right, so that's going to do it, guys, for our patrol today. I hope you guys did enjoy the Viper Patrol. Uh, again, third time, special thanks to Ryan for creating this vehicle, for making, for putting the lights and everything on it, making this look really good, making it happen. Uh, special thanks to everybody who watched this video as well. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, smash the like on this video, leave some comments down below, guys. Tell me what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, guys, just keep on supporting me, guys. Okay, let's, try, let's try to make it to 100 subscribers at least. Let's make it to the first 100. We're almost, we're only halfway there to the 100 episodes. You know, we're just hitting over 50 now. Um, trying to get my 100th episode in, and hopefully before the end of the summer, hopefully before the beginning of spring, or the beginning of spring. Hopefully, we'll have it in by then. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on the next patrol. Till then, take care.